So, it's DSP here, and uh, being that I am going to Winter Brawl this weekend for the first tournament of 2011, the first major tournament anyway, uh, I went shopping today to get some supplies since it's been quite a while since I traveled, and uh, I said, you know what, while I'm sitting here packing, I realized a lot of people probably either don't travel a lot or they haven't traveled to a major fighting game tournament and they don't know what to expect or what kind of supplies might be uh, a good idea to bring with them. So what I'd like to do is actually, while I'm kind <clears> of <throat> going through everything here, is I'd like to show you some of the stuff that's definitely beneficial to bring to a fighting game tournament, and I bet I'm going to surprise some of you who have never been to one before. Now actually, hold on one second, because I left some stuff on my counter over here that I meant to bring over to the couch. Okay. So, <laughs> I have a wide variety of items which I will be packing. Uh, to attend the Winter Brawl Tournament in Philly. And uh, I guess to start, we'll talk about stuff that, uh, that you know, you would probably pack like in your toiletries. And first of all, a good idea to bring with you whenever you're going on a trip like this is to get one of these toiletry bags, okay? It looks just like a normal bag, but the reason it's special is because it has a hook. And when you get to the hotel, you can hang it either on the mirror or on something in the bathroom. And basically, this is now going to be your bag of all your stuff. And this is good because I've been to some events where, you know, okay, you know, everyone knows you want to save money, especially if you're young and, you know, this is, you're, you're splitting a room with five of your friends, you six people in there, you know, people sleep on the floor, people sleep on the couch, etc., uh, to save money, but you'll find that once you get to the bathroom, everyone kind of brings their own stuff, and if you don't have something like this, what ends up happening is everyone's stuff kind of blends together into this mishmash on the sink, and so, you know, you might have brought toothpaste, you might have brought some special stuff just for you, and the next thing you know, other people are using it because it kind of became the community thing because you left it out on the sink. Um, so something like this, it's good because you get to separate your own stuff and also because it basically separates your toiletry stuff from everything else that you're packing in your bag. So there's no chance that, uh-oh, you know, your shampoo's in here and it pops. Well, it won't get all over your clothes because it's concealed inside this bag that's zipped closed. So that's always a good idea. So what kind of stuff should you bring on a trip, especially a fighting game tournament, uh, the first thing that I recommend is your take your pick, but I actually take both Tylenol and Advil, and the reason I do that is uh, you will find that some days, just it, whether you didn't get to drink a lot that day, you didn't get to eat a lot that day, maybe it's just the loud noises of being in wherever this area, the venue is, a ballroom or whatever with hundreds and hundreds of gamers and all the games blaring loud, you might get a headache. and. You don't want to have to rush down to the hotel lobby and pay $5 for two freaking Advil. Uh, you want to bring it yourself. So it's very easy. You can buy these travel size packs, you know, at any uh, convenience store or drugstore. Same thing with these travel size uh, Tylenol bottles. It's also good to have both because there are some people that can't have one or the other, maybe because of heart problems or whatever. And uh, that way if someone says, hey man, can I have some Tylenol? You don't end up giving them Advil and then they have a heart attack. So that's always good. Another thing that I don't necessarily I don't necessarily condone this, but it's something that's good to have if you absolutely need it. It's something like Jet Alert, uh, some kind of a caffeine pill, simply because a lot of the times if you're driving for a very long distance or if you're on a very long plane ride and now you're trying to wake up because you need to get to the hotel, you need to check in, you need to get stuff done in time because you're on a schedule and you need to be able to be at the tournament at a certain amount of time, you might need something like this as a boost. Uh, to, to get yourself going. Now what I don't recommend this, and unfortunately I do know several pro fighting game players that do this, they pop these things like fucking candy during a tournament. And number one, that's unhealthy for you because you're jolting your body with caffeine. And number two, I guess, yeah, it could be argued that someone who's really popping a shitload of caffeine could have an unfair advantage over someone who's not. Uh, and I know for a fact, I can tell you right now, I probably need five people who are tournament winners, some of the best players in the country who do this habitually, I disagree with it. I don't. It, I, to me, what's the difference between doing this or taking a, another drug? You know what I mean? But it is what it is. People are going to do it to, to try to get an edge no matter what. But I recommend this if you're down. Or, or Another really good use for this is if you're actually running the tournament, like I've done many times, and you're just dead tired, you need a jolt. Something like this is better than a cup of coffee for you. Okay, what else? Uh, I do recommend that you go to, say, again, another one of these stores like a CVS or uh, Target, and they have their travel section, you can get a travel size uh, Q-tips. And this is really useful because a lot of the times if you get water in your ear or whatever for the weekend, you don't have a Q-tip, now you're fucked. Because now you're going to try to play in the tournament, it's going to be bugging you all weekend. Uh, uh. So Q-tips, 
very useful, and also something like this, very sterile, very sanitary. As you see, they're not gonna, they're not going anywhere. They're not gonna go loose in your luggage. And you know, usually I, I pop this full on a trip, and then anyone who's sharing the room, I mean, we all just share them, which is fine. Uh, definitely bring your own toothbrush. And typically, what I used to do, I used to bring something like this with me, which is the toothbrush, you know, travel container. Uh, but actually, I was in the, the store today, and I saw something totally new. It is a Colgate tra Dr. Fresh Travel Kit. And the reason that this is different is because it's a standard toothbrush, but this thing actually comes, look at this, it comes with a little plastic thing to protect the head of the toothbrush. So you brush your teeth, and then you just put this back in here. If you're afraid to put it down on the sink, because you don't know if the sink is clean, obviously if there's a bunch of people sharing the room, you put it inside this plastic container. It has drain holes, so it'll dry, and you just put it down, and now you're completely uh, safe. You don't have to worry about that getting dirty or getting knocked around or anything like that. I thought that was pretty neat. Um, and obviously, you know, a travel size toothpaste, if you have lots of people in your room, you might want to bring an actual full size toothpaste, because chances are not everyone is going to bring toothpaste with them. Um, obviously, uh, number one, like, necessity, you absolutely must bring deodorant. If you don't bring deodorant, I'll fucking slap you. Because so many people go to these tournaments and they stink. I'm not even kidding. They fucking stink. Because you're in a room where, you know, there might be several hundred people in this room. Everyone's near the TVs because they're all playing games, so it's a uh, confined area. Sometimes if it's a really major tournament, like I'm actually expecting at Winter Brawl, you're probably going to end up packed like sardines in there, and it could get really out of hand. And uh, the... the, the, the Fragrances can really start to become creative and unique. Let's put it that way. So don't be that one asshole who smells like freaking rotten fish. Bring deodorant. Wear it copiously. Now, what happens if you do wear deodorant, but you end up in a situation where everything stinks? That's why whenever I go to these tournaments, I always bring not one, but two cans of body spray. And it's not necessarily for me because I personally have always said, you know, I don't feel like I stink, and if I don't stink because I'm wearing deodorant, then why do I need body spray? But, the past couple of years when I travel, I take these with me, because that way if the room fucking stinks, you walk in and you spray the fuckers. You just spray the room, spray the air, and say, sorry, this way, if someone has to do it, this room has to be decontaminated. And you'll actually find if the room really does reek that most people won't even complain. So, two cans of body spray. Um... Depending on how many people are in your room, you might want to bring a towel, you might not. It all depends. Obviously, if there's only two people in a room, usually the hotel's good about that and they'll have enough fresh towels every day. Um, however, I do recommend if you have special, you know, if you're going to bring special stuff, like for example, if you're going to wear, bring body wash, if you're going to bring your body scrub, you know, try to keep it with your own toiletries and stuff like that. Don't have your fucking body wash sitting out there because then that's tempting other people to use it. And if you're going to complain about it, then don't leave it out there. If you don't care if people use it, then just leave it out in the shower. Who gives a shit? Let everyone use it, you know? It's, especially this. It's not like a bar of soap where everyone's rubbing it all over their body. That is kind of a no-no, I would say. A bar of soap, if you're going to bring your own soap, bring a container to keep the soap in. You've seen those containers before. And, uh, and keep it separate from everyone else's because the last thing you want is, you know, you bring soap and then on day two of the tournament, you look at the soap and it's covered with everyone else's body hair and you're like, oh, Jesus, you know, everyone used my soap. So... That's why it might even be a better idea on these kind of tournaments to bring body wash because this isn't, you know, this is all contained in a, a container. It doesn't matter if other people share it. You know, they're not all rubbing it against their body. So that's also a good idea. Um, I strongly recommend, if you're going to a tournament, that you bring some kind of powder, whether it's gold bond powder, whether they actually have special medicated powders, but I'm telling you, you need powder, all right? Because when you're in that room with all those people, more than likely you're wearing pants or jeans like I usually wear. After five, six hours of being in there sweating like a fucking dog, it becomes absolutely disgusting. And this stuff becomes essential, trust me, in that kind of an environment. It's like survival mode. So definitely bring some kind of powder with you to the tournament. Uh, another strong recommendation, bring facial tissues with you. Because some hotel rooms have them, some don't. If they don't, you end up... Every once in a while, if you sneeze or whatever, you're going to need to use the toilet paper. Now you're going to run out of toilet paper. So I always recommend, just go, you know, these are cheap. This is 99 cents for a four-pack. Go buy some facial tissues at the local store and bring them with you. Um, something that a lot of people don't think about, but it is pretty important, an ace bandage or an elastic support bandage like this. Um, a perfect example is going to be me this weekend. Unfortunately, I hurt my neck earlier this week. I don't know what I was doing. I was just stretching or whatever. I pinched a nerve in my neck. 
And all this week, I have shooting pains down this my side of my neck, through my shoulder, through the back of my arm, all the way into my thumb. And the tip of my thumb has actually been numb all week. So something like this, if it's really this bad on the weekend, I can wrap my hand in this and it'll help to support my hand so I don't accidentally wrench it or do anything. Especially with the amount of t uh, playing that I'm going to be doing this weekend, being in multiple tournaments, this is always a good idea. Plus, something like this is all purpose. So shit. You know, you're standing up too long and you hurt your ankle. You can wrap your ankle in this. And this is, again, it's 99 cents at the store. It's nothing too expensive. It's a good all-purpose thing that you should probably bring with you. Uh, extremely important, and a lot of people don't do it, wet ones. Why are these important? It's the all-purpose, okay? If you can't get back to the room to wash your hands, you can use a wet one and you're clean. If you're constantly playing on a joystick... Well, chances are that over the course of the day, there's going to be oils, dirt, grease is going to go all over that joystick. You don't want a dirty-ass joystick if you're in the finals at the end of the day. You want to have a nice, tournament-ready, precision joystick. Wipe it down with a wet one. I mean, these are all-purpose. They clean up everything. They're extremely cheap. Travel, you know, they sell these special travel packs. There's no reason why anyone should, should not bring something like that with them. And, you know, I hate to say it. I hate to say it, but this is an absolute truth of traveling, especially for these tournaments. You end up a lot of the times eating shit food because there's not a lot of stuff around to eat, not a lot of healthy food, and you end up having a very small selection, whether wherever you are in the venue. So, for example, if you're in a hotel, you end up eating the hotel food from the hotel restaurant. Maybe you end up ordering out pizza or Chinese food, really bad food. I recommend everyone get these wipes or whatever they're called for your ass because, <laughs> yes, it's a sad truth. But you're going to need them every once in a while. Everyone needs them. It's not, you don't have to be ashamed. I'm not saying that everyone shits their pants at every tournament. But there's always, especially if you have a room with multiple people, there's usually one person who has a problem. And then they either end up using all the fucking toilet paper or they stink it up, bring these. This is very beneficial to everyone to have these with you. Okay, what else? Um, ah, a lot of people say, well, you know, if you're in a tournament, okay, if you're in a tournament, it's very hard to leave a lot of the times to get food, uh, especially if, like, for example, Saturday of Winter Brawl is going to be the pools for all the games, where it's going to be Marvel 3, Super Street Fighter 4. Those tournaments are going to have, like, over 200 people each, okay? So for the first couple hours of those tournaments, it's going to be impossible to leave. You're going to basically be stuck there, okay, playing the games. And so rather than say, oh, I'm starving, I'm just going to wait it out because I, I don't want to lose my turn or whatever, I don't want to be disqualified if I leave this ballroom, Beef jerky is your friend. Beef jerky, number one, is filling. Number two, is full of protein. And number three, is absolutely delicious. Beef jerky is not going to go bad while you're at your trip. It's re Usually the packages are resealable. And it actually fills your stomach as well because it's real meat. I mean, this is probably the all-purpose best snack that you can take with you to a tournament. And uh, I, I highly recommend it. I'm going to bring this with me to Winter Brawl. So if I get hungry and I can't leave, this is my way out, so to speak. Uh, I'm trying to see if there's anything else in my bag here that you haven't seen. Um, now, yeah, we all know that the hotel has their own shampoo, but if, obviously, you need your own private shampoo, be sure to bring it and, you know, head and shoulders or whatever you want to bring, Silson Blue, uh, and, and bring your own little bottles. But, if you, again, if you don't want people to use it, keep it inside of your own toiletry bag, okay? So that way people don't get the mistake that, oh, this is the public shampoo, and then they use it all. In fact... I highly recommend you bring your own and then just let anyone who's sharing your room use the shampoo that was from the hotel. That could be the public shampoo. Um, one or two more quick things. Uh, first of all, I highly recommend that everyone does bring, either from the hotel room or whether you bring one yourself, a towel such as this, a hand towel. Because just like I said with the wet wipes during the day, your hands might get greasy, your joystick might get dirty, and having a towel like this, you know, I played for six hours, I can easily just wipe down my joystick dry off my hands, and I'm good to go. Rather than being all greasy and nasty and dirty after eating and doing all kinds of stuff and playing all day, you have a nice clean joystick. So a towel, definitely uh, an essential thing for one of these tournaments. Yes, uh, just like um, Doug Adams said in uh, Hitchhiker's Guide to the Universe, a towel is an essential thing for any traveler. I completely agree with that. Um, the last thing, and these are kind of like things that I like to do. I always like to bring some mouthwash just because, you know, you might be quickly brushing your teeth, but if you're going to sleep, you might not feel too clean, you know what I mean? Especially if you're not at home and you're not at your own home setup, you know, your toothbrush or whatever. So mouthwash is always a good idea. And then last but not least, one thing that I like to bring is some kind of tea. 
with me because, you know, it might be either you wake up in the morning and you don't necessarily want coffee because coffee kind of gives you a jolt. Uh, or maybe you're winding down for the night and you just want to have something to relax you. Usually the coffee machines in the rooms make hot water and you can have your own like, nice little tea and you relax and you're good to go. So uh, I think that's pretty much it. We pretty much went through all the essentials of things that you would need uh, for a, a tournament setting. I hope that at least some of these tips uh, help you out. One other thing that if, if someone's bringing a laptop, I strongly recommend you bring a USB hub of some sort. Because what always happens is they bring a laptop and then everyone wants to plug their shit in. Oh, can I pro plug in my iPod? Oh, can I plug in my, my this and that? And then next thing you know, you have no fucking ports to do anything with. So, USB hub. I bought this for 15 bucks. Very useful uh, and very portable and it's a good thing to have for, with you. So... Uh, that's it. That's it for my tips for traveling for now, uh, at least for essential gear to bring with you to a fighting game tournament. I hope it's been informative. Uh, and now i got to get to packing all this shit because it's all over my couch and my, my living room table. Maybe I should have thought about this a little bit before I made a fucking mess. So, Okay, I'm DSP, and I'll see you guys later, and uh, wish me luck at Winter Brawl.